Time for report cards. Our guys will now give their grades to individual Jets players based on their performance today. Let's begin with Sam Darnold. Bart, what grade are you giving Sam Darnold? First of all, who edited this sheet? Because you used to say something else, and I now have redacted little things on the front. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to give him a C minus. Uh, two interceptions. I thought he threw, had some touch on a couple over routes. Uh, he started off well, but I give him a C minus. I'm trying to be nice because it's Christmas, the holidays. I, I understand the holiday season, Chad. Leftovers. Well, I did the same thing. I gave him a C minus. Um, he said it in the press conference. He said his feel was off, right? That interception on the sideline was more of a feel call. And I think with him not playing and not being out there, he's lost his feel. He's lost his touch, and that comes. At, with time, and he's, you know, he's had an unfortunate you know, mono last year, shoulder this year. It's been sort of spits and spurts. and So if, I hope for him he gets a, a good long look at least these last games so we can see a better, uh, a better side of him. All right, let's get to the running game and Frank Gore, Chad. Ah, B, man. I mean, it's a solid B. He had a great day. I thought he had some nice burst. This guy falls forward for two yards at minimum, and he hit a couple of nice holes today. Real tough run. He's a great leader. But it's not an A effort, but I'll give him a B. A game of B plus. Father Time is not is not is undefeated, yeah. but Frank Gore is holding them off a little bit, keeping oh, them at bay. Swinging. When you talk about seventy two yards uh, today. You talk about ran the ball with authority. He showed burst. He uh, showed physicality. Um, you talk about averaging over four point one yards a carry. That's always a plus. And I thought that he helped get them in good down and distances. And he caught the ball well as well. So you know, I gave him a solid B plus. All right, let's get. Uh to the passing game, and Bart, how about uh, rookie wide receiver Denzel Mims? He just continues to impress me every week. I mean, you talk about the task at hand he had today with Jones and Howard, and he just competed, right? He competed. He high-pointed the ball. Uh, he Once again, you know, his beautiful hands. I love the fact that he's not a, a body catcher, that he yeah. catches the ball with his fingers yeah. I mean, his hands because that's going to give him an opportunity not to lead the league in drops. His beautiful hands. Beautiful hands. Beautiful you know I mean? hands. Not junior whopper hands. He got, he got double whopper Hand hands. model hands, yes. <laughs> exactly. So I gave him a B. I gave him a B minus. Only I gave him the minus because of that pass interference call in the end zone, which, I, you know what, I, he was climbing all over the guy. But you know what? I like the fact that he's going up. He's fighting for the ball. He's got an well, he had it incredible an, vertical. He had Have you seen his vertical? He was a head taller than the other guys. Oh, those, those guys are shorter, too. But it's nice to see a jet. Uh, have a receiver like this, and with him and Perriman like that, I, that's a nice combination. His, his physical attributes jump off the screen. There's yeah. no question. Chad, let's talk about a guy in, in the defensive secondary. Bryce Hall, everybody's been talking about this draft class. Bryce Hall is now joining that conversation. Yeah, I, I, I gave him a good B effort. If he had a, maybe an interception or two, I'd give him an A, but this kid is showing me that he can play this position, and he's kind of a bigger guy, and it's nice to have that size of a corner in today's game. He was physical out there. He didn't get burned. He didn't have any mental breakdowns. So, you know, I think the Jets with him at corner on that side, I think they're good with him. Bar? I mean, I gave him a B as well. Devontae Parker is a stud, right? And he's coming into his own. He was a guy that was considered a bust early in his career. But uh, since Gates has left, he's really stepped his game up. You know? <laughs> I'm not even trying to be funny, man. Like, I, I just, it's hit me funny. Gates has left, it hit me be, funny. He's, Sorry. He's, he's become a number one receiver. You talk about what he went for. He went for uh, 119 today. But Bryce Hall was right there, and he was competing. And listen, he's going to have an offseason to break down some of these receivers. He's going to understand the defense, his techniques, what he can take, where he can take chances, and what's going to be asked him. He's only going to get better. This is only, what, his second or third game. I'm excited to see this young man in the future, and I think they have the building blocks of a decent, you know, you know, tandem between Blesson and him. You know, if 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 anything, one of those guys can kick in to the uh, to the nickel next year when Poole is gone. And yeah, I told you Poole is gone, but come on, you didn't see that one. <laughs> there you go. 